Uh, Dr. Yates, DNA Spectrum is um, in, um, in the works with coming up with some brand new products, uh, several, um, and I know that um, one of your mission statements um, that sets you apart from the others is not only you uh, presenting the past, but you are preserving the present and uh, you will predict the future through your DNA uh, test. So uh, explain a little bit about what you have in the works for that. Okay, well, you, you might say that we're uh, uh, occupied with, with the past in the sense that uh, we use statistics to probabilistically predict where your ancestors came from, all of them. Okay, so that, that is the past. It's not the deep history uh, by any means. I don't think people really care to know about their ancestors 20,000 years ago. They usually want to know about their grandparents and great-grandparents. Yes. Uh, most Americans, uh, strangely enough, while well, we're a nation of immigrants and a melting pot, don't know anything about uh, the generations before their, gr their grandparents. And so this mm -hmm. allows us to go beyond the paper trail, okay, in the past. Right. That's the past. The present is our uh, DNA storage uh, product, which is going to take your a, a valid sample of your DNA and store it much as you, uh, cryogenics might uh, store your body. Right. And that way also uh, the consumer will be able to participate in the whole process uh, and generate uh, input for all the marvels that are going to come out of new DNA testing. That's the future. Okay. So uh, we... Uh, and it opens up I, your tests, obviously, because you're preserving the present through mm -hmm. the story. Storage, new storage product. It opens you up to a lot of opportunity to be working with a lot of um, uh, a lot of medical related industries, higher education, etc. That's right. Et cetera. That's right. Now, uh, you know, it's it's a kind of common perception that D DNA maybe you know people expect too much of DNA. I don't think so. I think it will eventually get there, but. Uh, People expect DNA to tell you what kind of health uh, risk you have, uh, down to nitty-gritty details and all. Uh, I'm not sure we're there. Uh, that's phase two of the Human Genome Project. And let me ask you this. Uh, okay, phase one was to map the genome. Phase two was to explore the medical associations with genes. Uh, how, uh, or conquest of, of disease, okay? They're good things, by the way, you can find in your DNA as well as uh, uh, diseases or disorders, like you might have the longevity gene or you might have the uh, intelligence gene, a little controversial. Uh, so, you know, the field is going there, but how, so I'm going to ask you, how many diseases have we conquered? Oh, I don't think any. Have we a conquered? None. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely right. We're, so, we're just in the early stages of that, but we're on board, and uh, we intend to have linkages to ancestry, uh, so that everybody has a family, family medical history. You know, you go to the doctor, you fill out a questionnaire and all. Think of that in the... Uh, Fa family of man or human family, you know. So we're we're preparing the uh, medical history questionnaire yes. for humankind. Oh, wonderful. Well, I'm very excited. I'm very excited to hear you speak. You'll be speaking in 20 minutes, and you have a line already of people that want to hear you speak, so I'm going to let you go. But it's been a wonderful, and I'm very excited to see um, where DNA Spectrum takes um, takes their product and all the new products that come out. And uh, they're very lucky to have you um, as the, uh, the brainchild of, uh, of these products. Thank you. Thank you, Cassie. My pleasure.